people look at dirty jobs and they see a love letter to manual labor and blue collar work. And it is surely that. But it's also in equal parts a love letter to risk and entrepreneurship. People are always surprised to learn that 40, 50 of the people we featured on that show are multimillionaires. They just don't look like it. They're covered in slime or grime or crap or something worse, you know? And so there's a tendency with the show to see it in a, in a, in a one-dimensional way. And to that point too, some people will look at the show and see it as a cautionary tale. They'll say to their kids, for instance, you know, see, this is why you got to go to college. You know, you're going to wind up hanging upside down from a bridge with a welding torch. But the rest of the viewers look at the show and say, see, son, that's why all jobs matter. That's why dignity can be in any job. And by the way, that welder hanging upside down from that bridge is making 180 grand a year. And so the show has given me a chance to to challenge myths and misperceptions and stigmas and stereotypes around certain kinds of jobs. It's let me run a foundation that awards a million dollars a year in work ethic scholarships to kids who want to pursue those, those jobs. But mostly to answer your question, it's a show with enormously rich, complicated, and important themes dressed up like a romp through a sewer. 